Hello everyone. Let us discuss one question on fontaine. It says that there is one hemispherical fontaine which has innumerable number of holes, small small holes, through which the water is spurting out at a velocity of 20 10 meter per second. Sorry, 10 meter per second in all directions. These holes are in all directions of the hemisphere. So choose the correct options. The shape of water well formed by the jets is paraboloid. That is one thing. B is the maximum height attained by the water is 5 meter. C is the diameter of the basin be at least 20 meter if no water is to be lost. None of the above. So this is your basin diameter. This one. It is asking. So let us start with first A, A part and then we will come down further. Water coming out under and it is exposed to the earth gravitational field. Speed is V naught. Anyone we are catching and we are writing equation for that. So we know that it will follow a tra trajectory of x tan alpha minus g x square 2 u square cos square alpha. So from this equation we know that this is an equation of parabola. Right? Hole is all around it. All around the hemisphere. And paraboloid is a surface which is formed when a parabola is rotated about its axis of symmetry so all around one all around the parabola is forming the spray is forming parabola 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 about its axis of symmetry so finally the surface what we will get is parabola a three dimensional surface so what we will get is parabola so a Answer A is correct. Now come to B part. The maximum height attained by the water is 5 meter. So you know by equation H is equal to U square sin square alpha by 2G. Your U is since we are writing v naught, so v naught we should write v naught square. So v naught square sine square alpha by 2g. V naught is 12, yeah, 10 meter per second. G is fixed 10 meter per second square. Alpha is the only variable. Question is asking maximum height. So this part should sine square alpha should be maximum. So for that to happen, alpha should be 90 degree and the value will be 1 sin square alpha maximum will be 1. So this is V naught square by 2G. So V naught square you can write 10 into 10 divided by 2 into 10. 5 meters so B also is correct. Now let us go for C part. The diameter of the basin will be at least 20 meter if no water is to be lost. What does it mean to say this is the basin boundary, right? So this diameter they are talking about that it should, what is the minimum diameter of this so that no water is being lost. So what happens when you know that range of water coming out of the hole can be written by this. So when will it be maximum? Range maximum will be when? When alpha is here 45 degree and sine 2 alpha is 90 degree. So maximum is 2z. So 
percent this side ten meter. It means any water coming out of it, which is can travel in horizontal direction to a maximum of ten meter. So that and the boundary should be made in such a way so that it should be within the boundary. So it will not come out of it. Rather, it will fall within and go back in the reservoir. Right. Red is better way to see. So any spray which is having maximum range of ten meter should fall within this basin boundary. So our diameter minimum of the basin should be. Two times R max. That is twenty meter. So C also is correct. So hope you understood this. See the whole idea is that water should not come out of the boundary. Water is coming out of the holes. So we should. Consider those holes from where the water is coming and which can travel to a maximum of maximum range. So, if we know the maximum range, so accordingly we will make the boundary of that basin, right? So, our maximum range we got is ten meter in that in radius. So its diameter should be twenty meter, right? So basin diameter should be twenty meter. Still, if you have any doubt, please do let me know through the comment in the comment box. Thank you.